Welcome right. everybody to another episode of Candid Combos. Today we got Dana Richardson with us. Dana, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, I'm happy to be here, Joe. Thank you for having me. Dana, uh, please, can you introduce yourself to our, to our audience? Let them know who you are. Oh, sure. My name is Dana Richardson, and I am uh, one of the owners of Tibbet and Richardson uh, PC. Uh, we're a law firm located in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Actually, we have two offices, one downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and one a little further um, up the road in Cambria County, Pennsylvania. So we have mm -hmm. two offices. Okay. And Dana, uh, well, this podcast is mainly to understand lawyers a little bit better and also get to know them and how they grew. So my favorite question, why did you want to become a lawyer? Oh, because I wanted to help people. So uh, my my best friend is actually my business partner. Uh, that's Beth Tibbet. When we were in law school, we knew right away that we wanted to open our own firm. And so we did in 2010, we opened our doors and our mission was to, to help people. Um, so what our goal is now is to help 1 million uh, people uh, find freedom and peace uh, uh, throughout their journey uh, through the um, legal system for family law legal system. Okay. So that's our goal. You know, we really just here to help people and help them. You know, the legal system can be so complicated, confusing, and scary for people. And so, you know, we're there for our clients and we really just want to help them achieve freedom and peace, you know, whatever that looks like for them uh, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm wondering, what are some of the common misconceptions that clients or other people have about the U.S. system and something that you can actually walk them through, like help them understand better? Sure. I think some of the common misconceptions mainly come from television, right? They see an hour long show uh, or a movie that's about a certain legal is issue, whether it's the criminal justice system or family law, and they see it get wrapped up very quickly, you know, and in real time, in real life, it's not that smooth. You know, everything is based on, you know, if and then it's always an algorithm if this happens then we do this if this happens so we always have to you know remind our clients that this is going to take a while you know what i mean and the length of time we can never uh, determine up front it's always just uh based on throughout the journey adjusting and readjusting you know uh, our game plan based on the goal much like a sports game Okay, so this is going to come up as a maybe a weird question for someone who's not a lawyer, but I know that yeah. between lawyers, we 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 tend to understand this. Um, what's your motivation for helping them? Oh wow! Um, well, I'm a mom, so that's one of my motivations. You know, especially with our family law clients uh, during you know heated custody battles. Uh, just knowing uh, anyone, whether they're a mom or a dad or a grandparent or other caregiver uh, that is really out there trying to fight for the best interests of their children. I think that drive, you know, from, you know, just being a parent, knowing the love between, you know, a caregiver and a child and how important those bonds can be. Um, that's my motivation to keep, you know, families, uh, you know, intact. Uh, keep the kids happy because it's really about what's in the children's best interest. So that's my motivation. The kids. Yours was a fully blown or fully grown business before the pandemic hit, before lawyers had to go remote. I'm wondering sure. how you dealt with that specific situation. Was it a challenge? Was it something that you were already prepared for, already went virtual and just like started growing faster and faster, making things easier? What was that like for you guys? Um, well, Beth and I are both into tech, so we've always loved tech. And from the very beginning, when it was just us two and a couple of MacBook Pros, we always started, you know, we work with a great, you know, IT firm. Everything 
we did, we built with the idea of being able to do it from anywhere in the world. So that if Beth and I were anywhere, we could just keep working. Uh, because in the beginning, it was just us two. So we're traveling around. We have to be able to get into files remotely, you know, use the telephone, the business telephone remotely. Uh, so we built the firm that way. So when the pandemic hit, everything was already in place, luckily. And uh, it was a pretty smooth transition. Now, I can't say it was completely smooth because none of us had ever dealt with a pandemic before. It was scary. Uh, it was scary. We, you know, we had a physical office. We had to get out of there, you know everybody go home, you know, and then we also had to make sure that these pieces of technology, you know, were properly working for everybody and that they had, you know, the supplies that they needed. But I would say that it probably went smoother, you know, than most because uh, foundationally, we had the tech in place. So that was one hurdle that was already there. It was just uh, tying up some other, you know, loose ends, like who's going to babysit the plants, uh, the office plants. <laughs> Well, nobody's in the office. Uh, yeah. Um, well, that's kind of like a blessing because your biggest concern is who's going to take care of the plants in mm -hmm. the office instead of what am I going to do? Like that's yeah. something that a lot of lawyers, business owners face. And some of them, some of them they, they fail on that channel. Like it's not that they didn't want to. They didn't have either the capability, the time, the preparation to do this. So being able to have that smooth transition, it's quite an accomplishment. Well, thank you. <laughs> we, like I said, it was just lucky that we had it there, you know, that, that, that we had to, you know, deal with from the beginning, the, the, the challenge of being able to work from everywhere. And so that, that luckily, you know, helped us when that very scary time hit, because it, it was scary. I know, you know, for us and for our clients. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it did change things a lot. It changed the legal scenario in the United States by like, it just skipped ahead like three different milestones and we reached a different era because now everything is done more comfortably. Everything is done remotely. Everything yeah. is done in a more timely fashion. And you're also able to work with people like from all over, which kind of brings me to my next question. You're also working with virtual assistants. I know that you have one uh, of us working with you. I'm wondering what's that relationship like? Uh, did you expect it to be difficult or how did that one grew on you? Sure, we actually have two, and they are uh, part of our family. Like, I didn't know what to expect, mm -hmm. but I know that uh, the two virtual assistants that we have, it's like they're here with us. So every morning we have a team huddle. Mm -hmm. And so uh, because we have people in different offices, uh, and then we have our virtual assistants, uh, we're all able to come on a video, much like we are now, and be together for 15 minutes in the morning. Uh, so it's like they're just part of the family, part of the team, and they, it, it's, it's seamless. And they, uh, the fact of having the virtual assistants actually opened us up to being able to um, allow, you know, some of our um, staff members who were going back to law school, uh, but in different states, you know, work part time, you know, remotely, because we saw while it could be done, people could still be productive, you know, did not miss a single beat. And um, yeah, they're part of our family. They're, it's just we, when we're running events, they're on the events. Um, you know, we'll get them lunch, you know, where they are, if we're having a lunch and learn, whether they're in another country, I'm like, all right, tell us where to go. How do we call? How do we get lunch delivered to your place? Because we want you to feel and learn, you know, with us, if we're doing lunch and learn, if we're doing this, if we're doing an activity, everybody's on camera and we're together as one family. Okay. Can you please, Dana, let people know where they can find you and what you can do for them? Oh, sure. We can be found at www.tibbetrichardson.com online. We're on the YouTubes. <laughs> We're on the, on, the, uh, on the Twitter. We're on the Facebook, uh, the TikToks. <laughs> you know, we're everywhere. We can be found in Pittsburgh, PA, and Cambria County, PA, and all we serve as all the surrounding uh, areas in our side of the state. And um, we 
you know, we're here. We can't, you know, we help our clients find, you know, freedom and peace uh, during their journey uh, through the family law court system. And we do practice criminal law, that court system as well, because it, there, it's, our, we believe that our clients are going through some of the toughest times in their lives and sometimes scariest you know, because we're dealing with family and really criminal law is family law. It impacts the whole family. Yeah. It impacts the whole family. So, you know, we're really working with families and it's scary and we want to be there. We want to get good results. We want to help get our clients to the to their goal line. Because not everybody's goal is the same and not everybody's goal is what we would want it to be. Yeah. It's their goal. So we want them to find their freedom and their peace on the journey to their goal. Inspiring. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dana. Thank you for your time. And I hope you can have you in the future as a return guest. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure. I would love to return. Thank you. Well, uh, that's it, everybody. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Candid Convos. See you next time.